Hey everybody, welcome to the book of Exodus. We're at chapter 28 and today verses 9 to 14 as we're now reading out through the creation of the priestly garments. Let's check it out. You shall take two onyx stones and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel, six of their names on the one stone and the names of the remaining six on the other stone according to their birth. As a jeweler engraves a signet, you shall engrave the two stones according to the names of the sons of Israel. You shall set them in filigree settings of gold. You shall put the two stones on the shoulder pieces of the ephod as stones of memorial for the sons of Israel. And Aaron shall bear the names before the Lord on his two shoulders for a memorial. You shall make filigree settings of gold and two chains of pure gold. You shall make them of twisted cordage work and you shall put the corded chains on the filigree settings. So we're looking at the right now at the accoutrements for the great, the, the high priest. And uh, his is different from the other priests. His is the most extreme. There's eight items sort of involved, whereas the other priests are going to get four. But now we're noticing some different bits here. So the shoulder pieces. It's interesting that at one part, he's going to have bear the names of the children of Israel on his heart. We'll talk about that. Here he's bearing their names on his shoulders. So the high priest has got both, both a representation, uh, which we'll see as we go on. He represents uh, Israel to God and God to Israel. He also is bearing them on his shoulders. That's sort of carrying that representation. And we have that right here with the one on each shoulder. I've got some notes here from uh, one is a guy you've probably heard of him, Maya Manides, which I probably just didn't pronounce correctly. But uh, he has an order the way he thought, thought it were, the stones, the uh, the names. Reuben, Levi, Issachar, Naphtali, Gad, and Joseph on the left side. Simeon, Judah, Zebulun, Dan, Asher, and Benjamin on the right, on the opposite side. He This total 25 Hebrew consonants on each side. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? When you look at the Hebrew letters, uh, it comes if they do it that way, it came out that way. So that that seems interesting. So we're talking about the high priest's ephod. It was a garment that covered the top. It was kind of like an apron and went down maybe below the waist. And uh, this is one part of the things that the high priest would wear. One more note on these uh, stones, one stone on each shoulder. We think those might be lapis lazuli. I'll slap a picture up here on the screen so you can see it. It's this uh, fantastic blue colored rock that comes out of Afghanistan and in some other places. And uh, it was really renowned in the olden days as, uh, and they used that as, a, as something that uh, would give glory and splendor and beauty to these special garments. In the text, it talks about these stones being like a memorial to God. It's a reminder to God, kind of like the rainbow was a reminder to God. Not like, you know, God forgets, but he wanted to have that, he put that in place so there would be a reminder to him. He wants us to know that he reminds himself of the covenant, like the rainbow in Genesis. And so here he's got a stone on each shoulder, which is representing the children of Israel to him. And they, that is helping him remember. So he's a God of the covenant. He's, gonna, he's even reminding himself, even though he never forgets, he reminds himself. He wants us to know he has us on his, on his heart. The high priest bears us on his shoulders, and the high priest is working directly for and in tandem with God, the God of heaven. He's working in tandem with Jesus, who the book of Hebrews tells us is our great high priest after all. And lastly, let me just say that um, if you look in the Bible, there are several different ephods mentioned. They may not be all the same kind. In fact, I'm quite sure they're not. Hey, I just want to remind you that we do uh, on every Monday, we try to do at noon American time, a little uh, YouTube live, a little short one, uh, 15 to 30 minutes and catch up on different videos, different things happening during the week, different uh, things about our devotionals that maybe we didn't say in each devotional. So you're invited, come along Eastern time, um, new 12 noon, America, Detroit time, uh, and that'll be on Mondays. All right, we will see you around.